Hello and welcome to episode 180 on the Online Trainers Podcast. Today's topic is, are you innovating? Hello and welcome to the Online Trainers Podcast, where we go behind the scenes to uncover the latest tactics and strategies top trainers around the world are using to get more clients, dominate their marketplace, and get their clients amazing results. There is absolutely no fluff here. I'm your host, Lynn Trin. Now, today's topic stems from the fact that in today's marketplace right now, there is so many different products and solutions for fat loss. And if you're a personal trainer, you're a fitness coach, you're a coach, heck, you're a health coach and you want to get started inside of the online space, you want to grow a business, you want to use the online platform, Facebook ads, Instagram ads, whatever it is, to grow your business, you are going to struggle. And here's the reasons why. You're going to struggle because... Inside of the marketplace right now, there's probably about a million different solutions for fat loss, a million different solutions for online fitness transformations, millions of different solutions to helping your clients get into shape. And so why I'm talking about this today is because you're probably going to think, Lynn, but I'm different. I'm different is usually the first kind of objection that I get. And I, I get that. I understand. I understand that you're different. Like, in fact, you and I both know you're so different and you're so great at what you do. And you and I can see how different you are. You provide accountability. You provide support. You've got greater knowledge than all of these guys putting out their knowledge out there. Of course, you're completely different. But here's the reality. The reality is you and I see that you're different, but unfortunately, your prospects don't. And inside of the game, if your prospects do not see that you are different, guess what? They're not going to pay you any money. So at the end of the day... Your ability to generate leads, convert leads into sales, and fulfill will will be your ability to grow your business. Now, unfortunately, if you are not influencing marketing to your prospects and you do not differentiate yourself to them, they don't see you as different. And I'll tell you why. Because the dad that wants to get in shape, he wants to lose a bit of weight. He's going to go check up Weight Watchers, Jenny Craig. He's probably going to get sold Herbalife. Probably going to go and download an Instagram uh, ebook probably going to jump on YouTube, heck, he'll start using the Fitbit to to start running. Because the thing that he thinks he needs to do is lose weight. So here's the thing. If he can lose weight doing all of those other things, why would he come to you and pay you a premium? And the fact is, if you're an online coach, you want to be charging five, six hundred dollars to work with him over the course of 12 weeks. Why would he pay you that much money when he wants to lose weight and there are so many other modalities out there for 50 bucks. And this is the question that you need to solve because here's the reality. The reality is I've worked with hundreds of trainers. We've looked at the unique selling proposition, the uniqueness of their program. We understand and and my job has been, okay, hold on. How are you taking yourself out of what I like to call commodity market? How are you doing that? How are you taking yourself truly out? Can you be compared to anybody else? The question for most and the answer for most personal trainers is absolutely not. And it comes back to this idea of innovation. It comes back to this idea of going, okay, what is the problem out there in the world that needs solving that isn't being addressed? What is the problem that needs solving out there that is not being addressed? And the truth of the matter is it comes down to you having the ability to take off your personal training hat, put on a coaching hat, put on a, a problem-solving hat and going, okay, what's the problems that you want to fix? Well, men aren't losing weight. Cool. Why aren't they losing weight? Okay, men aren't following through. Okay, cool. Why aren't they following through? Or oh, they don't have motivation. Cool. Okay, what else don't they have? Well, maybe they don't have structure. Okay, what else don't they have? Maybe the things are too confusing. Okay, cool. What else? What what other problems do they have? Okay, so they can't follow through. They have no motivation. Things are too confusing. Okay, what about implementation? Maybe they don't have the support environment. Maybe they don't have the right plan. Maybe they don't have the right mental. Maybe they don't feel inspired. And so when you look at all these problems that this person faces to get into shape, you can start dictating, okay, which problems do you want to solve and how can you innovate to solve them? And so when you write down a list of the problems that are out there, you start to think, okay, if I could solve this problem, if I could bring this person anything, anything that they wanted, if I could provide a solution to them, if I could go, okay, here, here are your problems. Men, not motivated. Men, not having the right knowledge. Men, not having the right mindset. Men, not having the right environment. Men, not being inspired to change. Men, having shitty beliefs around why they they have to stay the same. Men having excuses, men go, uh, and feeling just, just mediocre and having low belief levels around themselves. How can you innovate on that 
to go, okay, if I can create this community to tackle X, Y, and Z, hold on, you can differentiate yourself from the marketplace, but more importantly, you can get results. And so today, the talk, the conversation that we are having is around innovation, whether or not you're willing. And here's the reality. I'm going to tell you this. If you listen to this podcast, you're probably going to have the best chance of success. The reason why I say the best chance is because people listen to these podcasts, people come to our coaching programs, my coaching programs, get coached by me. They're like, Lynn, I've been listening to your podcast for so long and now I want to work with you. And then when they work with me, it's, it, we open up a whole new horizon of what this process is. What this process is to uncover yourself, to evolve, to innovate, to think, and then to create a marketplace of, of your own. So that being said, my question to you today is, are you going to innovate? Because here's the deal, I don't want to scare you, but if you're inside of this game right now, inside of the online fitness space, it's dead and it's broken. I did a speak on it the other day in front of 100 personal trainers who were coming to learn about online personal training. And I said, fuck it, guys. Online personal training is dead. And that was the speech. You can imagine, you can imagine the responses, the looks that I had. And, and here's the reality. The reality is if you're not going to innovate, you're not going to problem solve, somebody will innovate just like Uber just like Uber destroyed the taxi industry, okay? So that being said, you have a bit of work to do and I've got a bit of work to do as well today. But more importantly, if you've been listening to this podcast show, you've been consuming, you've been consuming, you've been consuming, it's time to do some work. It's time to take off and leave the fear behind and go, fuck, we're halfway through 2017. Fuck, I haven't hit my goals. The reality is I know you haven't hit your goals because I can take a good guess. How many people hit their goals? 2%, very few. The 98%, they're behind. And if you're a part of that 98, you're behind. So if you are not hitting your goals, it's time to go, okay, wait, let's reassess this shit. Let's figure out this stuff. Okay, I made $10,000 in the first half of the year. Cool, how can I turn this around and make 100000 in the second half and then we make a six-figure business? And if you don't think that's possible, just take a look around you. Take a look at the coaches that I've coached. $100,000 in three months. It is possible but unfortunately, right now, it's not possible if you don't think it is. If you don't think it is, it won't happen. If you do believe it is, then you need to search. You need to search for something completely new, completely different. Because the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. See, stop doing the same shit over and over again. Time to change. All right. If you enjoyed this podcast, please leave me a five-star review on iTunes and feel free to leave a review and that way I can respond and I can take that on board in developing content to serve you. Now, if you're not a part of the Online Trainers Club on Facebook, please do yourself a favor and be a part of the conversation. That's where I add daily tips, tricks and strategies on how you can build out funnels, how you can get more clients and ultimately become a better online coach. Thank you for listening.